I'm going to intentionally make a mistake here. Okay, when's the last time an instructor said that to you? I'm going to intentionally make a mistake to share with you what not to do. So I'm going to save these changes. I'm going to update the page. And I'm going to preview the changes. So right now, I have my little design in the background, but it's like, well, that doesn't look that great. What's going on? I wanted that text in the center. How can I fix this? Well, understand something of basic HTML, CSS 101. The problem lies in, is that that space, which is a space right here, does not have enough content to fill in the space to make it wide enough or high enough in this particular case to show the photo. So let's puzzle through this and see how we can fix this. Let's go back into here again. And this again is the row properties. And based on these choices, we already changed the background photo, which is the photo we want. So that's fine. That's not where the problem lies. The problem lies in our design options. Now, important to understand if you're new to this, the difference between, difference between padding and margin. Margin is the space outside of the box, imaginary box. Padding is the space inside the box. Now, important step, this is basically CSS in HTML5 or HTML settings 101. Don't confuse nothing with zero. Zero is an actual value, just like 1, 10, 12, 11, 17 are values. So this is nothing. So that's going to default to the browser's default properties. So what I want to do there is put in margin space zero at the top and margin space zero at the bottom. Now, the reason I'm doing that, because if I build more information, more pages on top of my parallax with my background image, I don't want gaps between them. And this will solve that problem. Now, how we're going to solve the problem of having enough space is we're going to make our padding on the top equal to the padding on the bottom. And I'm just going to arbitrarily pick 250 by 250 and save the changes. I update the page. I preview the page. And now I should have a much better looking example of what I'm trying to accomplish. So there is the full entire page with the text that I want to put in there or any kind of information you want to put in there, all right? So as an example, let's inside of this, inside of this row, I can put other elements inside this row. So if I click here, I can append to the column. So I have rows and I have columns. Now, technically, this is a column. It's just one column. If I click here, I can actually make this two columns. I'm not going to do that, but I just want to share with you that's how simple it is to do. So here's what I'd like to do. I'm going to put a call to action. So I'm going to click right there. It's going to bring up this. Now, if this gets a little overwhelming, like what's going on with this? Then simply go to your different categories, and this will basically break it down a little bit more simplistically so you can see what you're doing. Again, we got into Fancy Box by going to Ultimate Visual Composer Add-ons. So based on these choices, software simply comes down to choice. I'm going to click right there. And it's going to take that call to action button and put it inside of my properties. Now we can put whatever we want in here and we can have a link that goes someplace, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So right now, since this is just a learning understanding of how to do it, it's not really necessary that I go in there and change all these things. If you want to put a URL link to go to the page, you would do that as well. So I'm simply going to save the changes. Okay. So I'm going to update that and preview the changes. Again, the advantage of previewing the changes is you still have your back admin here. You don't have to go to the page and come back, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? So if you want to make further changes to this, then you would click in here and set up whatever properties you want. Okay, so you can say the icon that you want to use. I want to use an alarm clock. I want to use whatever in here that's going to make sense to me. Now, for whatever reason, if you say, well, I kind of really don't like that idea. I want to do something else. Great. Let's just trash that. It's going to say, do you really want to do this? We would say yes. Let's go back here. And we could do different types of call to actions. We could do accordions. We could put an image in here. We could basically do anything that falls under the purview of these icons and these little widget additives. Widget additives, yeah, that's what they are. Okay, so again, if you get overwhelmed with this, simply click in the subcategories and it'll probably make a lot more sense. 
This, by the way, are WordPress widgets right out of the WordPress installation. So it has nothing to do with any theme in particular. It's just for the WordPress information. So you can put an image carousel. It's really a lot of fun. Of course, in my full in-depth A through Z, no holds barred, I go deep, deep, deep into all the values and all the settings inside of, more importantly, Ultimatum, more specifically, uh, Visual Composer. Now, here's what I want to share with you. I'm going to go back into your again, and I want to put, rather than in earlier, we actually put three words in there, which is fine. But what I want to do is I want to have each one with separate three words. So here's a simple, simple way to do this using Visual Composer. Now, very important step from a production standpoint. If you're gonna duplicate something, make sure it has every little nuance, font, style, sizing, margin width, padding, everything you need before you go duplicating. So let's think about that. If I start duplicating this and I realize, oh, the padding was off or the margin was off or it's the wrong font, then I gotta go change five, six, 10, 12. Get your first one looking great and then I can make changes. Now, I wanna share something with you. There's a great little plugin called Duplicate Post. And what Duplicate Post enables you to do, I'm just gonna update these changes for a second, enables you to have a starting point and then basically duplicate that to make something else. So when working with clients, this is really important. And part of my training, I've been doing this for 28 years, is I'm gonna share with you real world practical aspects of how to get things done. More importantly, how to think about the software, how the th software thinks and therefore you can solve problems. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this post. Now, visually, you're not really going to see anything happen other than it's going to make a duplicate post with the same exact name. So what we'll need to do is I'm just going to call this Parallax Simple version 2. So I simply typed in Simple version 2. Now, from a production standpoint, that's a very valuable technique because your clients are always going to have revisions and something they want to go back to. Never take the client or your boss's word for saying, hey, yeah, I don't like that. Or I do like it because I guarantee you two days later, they said, you know, that thing you did last Friday, now nah, we decided we like that. So if you use this copy to new post, copy post, duplicate post, it's actually a, a plugin called duplicate post. It's going to save you a lot of time. All right. Now we have everything set up here exactly the way you want that particular page to look. So now we can duplicate this a few times. Very simple. Now again, these things that you're seeing is because I have the copy and paste add-on, which is really a big time saver. This enables you to copy and paste from one WordPress installation to a totally different server. It's really a good game changer and it saves you a lot of time. And it's like 10 bucks. You can get it on theme for as code can. So I'm gonna duplicate this once, twice. Now obviously it's gonna be the same exact thing, but just so you understand so far, I'm gonna hit the update button and I'm gonna to go to preview. So now the parallax will be taking true effect. So now I have the top parallax information and if I scroll down, you'll see the rest. So here's the opening. Now keep in mind, since we do book it, it's exactly the same. But we're gonna make changes to that in just a second. So let's close this window. And the first one that we did is actually looking peachy. My uncle used to say that as a kid. All right, so what we wanna do here is click and edit. We're gonna end edit fancy box. First, we're gonna edit the words. Now, I'm a big word salad man. I like, uh, I'm very good at advertising and marketing, so think, learn, earn, earn would be follow kite by create, select. Learning how to spell sometimes helps. Edit. Save changes, and I'll go down here to the last one, and that will be followed by create, design, edit, publish. Years ago when I had a school across the street, we're the number one advertising, uh, full page advertising for the Village Voice and New York Press, and I was very good at coming up with little catchphrases. And create, design, edit, publish, uh, actually it was a desktop publishing terminology I used back in the early 90s and it was create design edit print but when the web came out in 96 97 I changed print to publish so it's pretty cool all right now again everything is the same I changed the text now I'm going to change the background of the images recall that we did that from the row itself it's the background image of the row itself 
So that is this icon, not this icon. Although we could put a background in here as well. So I'm gonna click right here and everything is set up for us. The only thing we need to do is swap out the existing background image. Now, important step here. I don't have to delete this. All I have to do is add a new one and it will replace the one I already have. So it just saves you a little bit of time. So I'm gonna click right here. That takes us to our media library. If we don't have something in our media library, we can just upload something. I'm gonna select this one and set and save. I'm gonna go down here, do the same thing. Make sure you click right there because that's the row itself. And we will go to background and click and select and save. And this is really how easy it is to get a really cool visual page using Visual Composer. Now, part of the reason that I'm using the Ultimatum theme, which I'll share the reason I'm doing that in just one second, you'll get a big kick out of this. So I update those changes, now I'm in a preview. So now when this comes up, here's the first set of text block, here's the second text block, and there's a third text block. Now again, keep in mind that these are going edge to edge right here, because I set up the margin to zero. Again, don't confuse zero with nothing. Now let's make a slight change to the middle one. So let's go down here to Visual Composer. So here's the first and there's the middle one. So we're gonna make a change for how this information is displayed. So we can display this using the type effect, but we can also display this as a slide up or slide down. I'm gonna pick slide down and I'm gonna save the changes. I'm gonna update that. So therefore, when I go to preview changes, go so this is the type effect and if you don't want to see the cursor by the way there's an option in fancy text you can turn the cursor off but this is really nice too now you can also inside the fancy text dialog box set the uh, how fast it animates and how fast it changes in milliseconds for those of you that are new to this it basically uses JavaScript to do this there's 1,000 milliseconds to a second so if something is set to 7,500 milliseconds unless you slept through fourth grade math class that's 7.5 seconds. All right, now let me share with you the exciting reason I use the ultimatum theme. And this is how easy it is to do things, right? So again, let's go to preview changes. Now, since I'm logged in as the admin, I have instant access to my layout. So the ultimatum theme has something called theme management and I can go right into the layout that I'm currently using. Now, this particular layout is not bad, but unfortunately, it's just a one column layout. So let's say that I want to put my parallax on the left, and maybe I want to put a call to action on the right in a separate column. Now, very important step here. Keep in mind that I could do multiple columns here, but I'm talking about a physically separate absolute layout using WordPress layouts. So here's what I can do. I don't want to change this layout, so I'm going to go back to my layout screen. I'm in the ultimatum theme based on these choices back to layout screen. All right, now ultimatum makes this really, really simple. Right now in this particular template I'm using, I only have the one layout, but I'm going to clone that because I don't like to reinvent the wheel. So I'm going to clone the layout, so it's going to give me the same information, except I'm going to make changes to this. And the changes that I'm going to make to this I'm going to click right here to edit, and obviously this would no longer be called main full width. So let's call this main, in fact I don't have to call it main, but we'll call it two columns and save the layout. Now obviously this is not two columns, this is one column, but I don't want to trash this because this had different properties in here like I don't want to see the image, I don't want to see the title, that's all part of this WordPress default widget. So Ultimatum rows need to have widgets. And based on these choices, I come up here to insert row. And the row that we're gonna insert, I'm gonna insert a 6633 row. Now if you have all these different layouts, in fact, you can pile layouts on top of layouts. It's really exciting stuff. So I'm gonna insert that. And I don't wanna lose this. This is the default layout where the parallax is gonna come up. Now something I wanna share with you this is inside of a container that is gonna go edge to edge bleed. This particular container, unless we make CSS change, is not gonna do that. We're not gonna go into detail on that. I just wanna share with you how simple this is to do. So I'm gonna take this WordPress default 
which is right here, my default loop, and I don't need this anymore, so I'm going to delete that. Now over here, here's a really kind of cool thing. I can bring in different pages I made before. So as an example, I'm going to come down here and go to Ultimatum, Include Page. I'm going to drag this up to here, and based on these choices, it's going to say which page you want to select. Do you want the title on? No, I want it off. If there's an image on the page, well, there's no image on this page. I'm just going to pick a page that we're going to do. So here's a call to action. Now, I can't recall because I did this a couple days ago. I'm not sure how this was designed, but you'll get the understanding here. Pay no attention to the design of what I'm doing. Pay attention to how I'm doing it. So I go and I save that. So I have a brand new layout, and it was that simple to create. I simply went to layout, back to layout, selected the layout that I currently had, cloned the layout, swapped out some of the um, widgets so I didn't have to reinvent the wheel. Now I'm going to save the layout. Now, here's the really cool part. Let me share with you how simple this is to implement using the ultimatum theme. Well, if I update the changes there, and I'm just doing this so it puts the new layout in here. So it's refreshing everything that I just did new in the back end. So I no longer want to use this layout. Now, I could come down here and make a duplicate copy of this one column, two column. I'm not going to do that, but I could do that. I just want to share that with you from a production standpoint. So based on these choices, I want to pick my main two column layout. In fact, let's not actually do that. Let me show you a different way I could do this as well. So I update this and I preview the page. Now, nothing's going to change because we haven't assigned that new layout. I could have done it right there on the page itself. But let me share with you a really powerful feature that the Ultimatum theme enables you to do. Since I'm logged in as the admin, I can go right into the into edit page. I can copy and make a new draft of this page and make one, one column and the other two column. Okay. So again, once I'm logged in the ultimatum, I have all these different options because I'm logged in as an admin, meaning I can make new pages, new posts, new slideshow, add a new user, et cetera, et cetera, because I'm logged in as the admin. So I'm going to go and edit the page. So that puts me right back to where I was before, but I just want to share with you from the front end, you can also just edit the page, come right back over here, two columns, update. So now if I preview the changes, now again, I have no idea what this design is going to look like, but you will see two columns. You'll have your call to action stuff on the, on the right and your parallax on the left. Now, here's another thing I want to share with you when using Visual Composer. As I just demonstrated, you can do a lot of cool things in the back end, but let's say you're a front end kind of person. Let's say you're a front end person. And I, even though this is a, a placeholder text for one of the inserts inside Visual Composer, let's see what we can do from the front end. So therefore I can leave my website exactly the way it is and I can just hit edit with Visual Composer. So that's gonna keep me on the page and I'm working on, and it's gonna load up Visual Composer and I can make changes right from the front page. Okay, so you can make changes from the back end, you can make changes from the front end. So if I move my cursor in here, I can actually get different information as to what I want to change. If I wanna to go to the back end, I can go right back to the back end, et cetera, et cetera. So I can scroll around here and make all kinds of changes. Now. Due to the memory constraints, you're not going to actually see your parallax in the background because it's a lot of memory it's holding right now. But I can click in any one of these other sections and I can change whatever I want. So if I want to change the text, if I want to delete that, I can go and add new information right from my front end, similar to what I did with my back end. Now, of course, whatever changes you make, you would then go to update that would update the changes. Or I can just close out of this window altogether, exit Visual Composer or I can go to the back end. But what I want to share with you in the front end, you can do some really cool stuff. So I can come up here and I can add new elements wherever I want to place them. Now it's going to place them at the bottom and I can drag them up to the top. I'm going to choose not to do that. So in our full A to Z training series, I go into great detail, not only how to benefit and use the ultimatum theme, now, the Ultimatum theme is a commercial product. It retails for about $129. 
But here's the deal. You sign up for my training, I will give you access, not license, not ownership, but I will give you access to a WordPress site that's all yours. You can log in with your own username and password, and you can test out and try the ultimatum theme prior to purchase. So if you're kind of hesitant about it spending $129, now there are deals out there. I think you can get like Mighty Deal sometimes has it for like 59 or 69 bucks. But the bottom line is, let me go back to my editor, is that I will take care of you. Okay, you sign up for my training program. I will give you access again, not license access, but I'll give you access to kind of kick the tires and try out, you know, for the next couple of months, ultimatum theme and see how it works. Thank you for being here. My name is Robert Farrell. Again, sign up for the free WordPress training plugin. And by the way, let me just share with you how that works since we're on that subject. Didn't somebody say that? So as an example, I just happen to have the WordPress training plugins installed in my WordPress dashboard. You know, in case I wanna learn something, it's right there. So I'm gonna share with you how easy this is to do. Now, I just have the basic WordPress dashboard installed. So if you wanted to find out more information about my training plugins, et cetera, et cetera, this is the base training series. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to plugins and I'm gonna add a new plugin. So if, you have, if you're getting my free WordPress plugin, this is exactly how you do it. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna load up my full boat, inclusive of everything plugin. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna install the new Ultimatum training plugin 2.8.2. So you install this like any other plugin. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna select one of my training plugins. Now, of course, you would need the license for this as well. I'm gonna select the ultimatum theme essentials and install. Now, it works with multi-site as well, but you'd have to have the, uh, actually, I guess I already have it installed. I forgot I did, I just have to turn it on. So let me share with you how to do that. I guess I just do so many darn training videos that I forgot what I did. So I guess I already had it installed, but I simply have to activate it. Now, important step, all my plugins are completely updatable, which means as I update them, if you sign up for yearly access, you're going to get free updates for the year. And just like any other plugin updates, it would update and then it would just give you the new version. Currently, the ultimatum theme version of training is on 2.8.2 and the version of my plugin is 2.0.1 by yours truly, Robert Farrell at Think Learner. So I'm gonna activate this plugin. Now, if you're activating it for the first time, it's gonna ask you for a serial number. So you would go and put in your serial number. So serial numbers, of course, would be back here. Now, what I wanna caution you on is under any circumstance, don't deactivate this serial number because it's going to wipe the serial number out. And unless you physically own that serial number, which I assume that you do, you're going to be uh, up a pickle or in a pickle or on a pickle. Something about a pickle. I don't know. So don't deactivate this. Now, you can deactivate it from here. And all my plugins enable you to install this on two CPUs, a laptop and a desktop or a work computer, et cetera, et cetera. So let me share the experience with you. Now, if you click here, a little bit of propaganda on me. I've been training for a long time. I have close to 60,000 students, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And everything that we do as far as sales is known as an add-on. So you're going to get the WordPress training plugin for a limited time only if you sign up uh, for free. And you'll get the base plugin too, which is this one as well. So this is a little propaganda about me. Actually, that number is actually, that, that was done a couple, about a month ago. So I'm actually clo pushing close to 58,000 students online. And if you go to add on, you can basically update to my commercial plugins. So right now I'm making the WordPress training plugin free for a limited time only. And you have a super duper, if you wanna get my all access, which is all the training I do, which, whether it's Adobe or Final Cut or Apple products or After Effects or all the WordPress applications and all the applications that you need to know to make money, that's $199 for the year. I also have a lifetime access too. But here's the deal. You sign up for that free WordPress Essentials and you'll get a severe discount coupon for my all access plugin. But enough of that. Let's go back and share with you how this plugin works. So let me get back for a second. I'm going to go to Ultimatum Training, and you can watch this right from your plugin, right from your dashboard. So I have two sections here. So what I have going on here is I have the Essentials Ultimatum, and then I have the Essential Plugin, which goes deep into Visual Composer. 
which a lot of the techniques that I just shared with you plus a lot more. Now, here's the cool thing as far as getting a plugin right inside your dashboard. Okay, it's the best way to learn because as I'm demonstrating things, you can do it yourself and try it yourself right in your dashboard. Also, keep in mind, as great as YouTube is for watching video, it's not a great learning environment, which means you can't take notes on your YouTube video. You can take notes on my video. You could bookmark my video. Now, you could bookmark them in YouTube, that's true, but you can't. Just so what I want to do here, and I'm viewing this in playlist as opposed to page tiles. So this is viewing it by page tiles, and this is viewing it by playlist. So if you view by playlist, I could bookmark, I can search by title, and my videos are three to five minutes a piece. Some of some go 10 minutes, but they're intelligently named. So you know exactly what that particular video is gonna contain and it tells you how long each video is. Again, I try to keep it under 10 minutes. More importantly, about five to seven minutes per topic. Okay, but here's the cool thing. So let's say I'm watching this video and I might have mentioned something in the video that maybe you wanna take a note on. Well, you go out and get a piece of paper, great. Then you lose that paper. So you can take whatever notes you want. So here's a SEO uh, tips. I'm just gonna tag it with SEO tips. All I have to do is type in there, I don't have to save. So now it's next week, next month, next year, I come in here and I want to search my notes that I created in my video for the word SEO. And if you search this, this is gonna come up. So it's a great learning environment. So in addition to getting great training, it's a great atmosphere to learn into. So definitely take advantage of the free WordPress plugin I'm offering you, which gives you free WordPress training right from your dashboard. You'll also get the base one for free and you'll get a super, 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 super discount for the ultimatum training plugin, as well as my all access, everything I teach plugin. Thank you again for being here. My name is Robert Farrell. My objective is to teach you the way the software thinks because software is nothing more than a language. If you're gonna teach me French or German, I need to know the syntax, the vocab, the, the, the nouns, the phrasing. I need to construct sentences before I can write paragraphs. So I involve you in the thinking process of how that particular software thinks and all software are not the same. Just like all teachers are not the same. If you really wanna experience true real world training and really comprehend what you're doing, You've come to the right place. My name is Robert Farrell. Thank you very much for being here. Carpe Diem 2015.